This is part five of our summer 2021 cruise to the south coast of the UK. We are heading from Portsmouth Harbour over to the Isle of Wight a place called Cowles. We've managed to secure a two week mooring just before Cowles week. So we're looking forward to visiting the Isle of Wight. Well, today is Wednesday 14th of July, 2021. And uh, we're now gonna move our boat from uh, our temporary mooring here at Hasler, where we've been for a few days, and we're going to go over to the Isle of Wight for a couple of weeks to East Cowes Marina. So, first time at East Cowes, and what a beautiful day! What a beautiful day! This is absolutely fantastic. So it's only it's only just over an hour, hour and a quarter journey, something like that, once we're out of the uh, the harbour, uh, and um, yeah, we have to arrive at East Cowes. Uh, no earlier than half hour before and as much as three hours after high water because there's a quite a strong tidal stream that goes through the uh, the moorings uh, in the marina in the river medina and um, that's because the double tides you get in the sound whereas the water goes around the either way both directions and gives you an extended high water time uh, so yep we should uh, this should be a lovely ch uh, journey, uh, beautiful weather, and um, looking forward to it. First time this boat is, actually it's not, it's first time in cows anyway, for this boat. We've been to the other work before on this boat, uh, but uh, yeah, what a, it's gonna be a lovely, lovely cruise. Island Flyer, the by the right hovercraft, and just literally stopped in its tracks and put it in reverse for some reason. Don't know why, maybe he's just uh, clearing a bit of seaweed from his propellers. It's only seven and three quarter miles to go. Um, nice, simple journey. This is, you see, a nice, relaxing journey across the Solent. Life couldn't be more simple, but dodging everything of course. Uh, this is boating at its easiest, nice short trips. Yeah, what's not to like? Look at the weather. There you are. See these dark patches in the water. I don't know if you can see them very well. When I first started boating, Realize that. Oh. Uh, nice view of my knees. And as soon as we left Portsmouth Harbour, we can see our destination ahead. Look at that, even on my little display, that's a two mile radius. Oh, it's AIS targets. I don't care how stupid the hat looks, I really don't. It's sunny and I haven't got much hair. It's like kids all running around a school playground, isn't it? It's gridlock. Total gridlock, man. Boats everywhere. What do you think of it so far, Ange? It's busy. Have your eyes peeled? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, a boat can be doing one thing one minute and everything's fine. Then they tack, and all of a sudden you've got three boats that you've got to avoid, and you avoid one, and then of course that puts you in a different path to where the other one thought you were, and they all move. And yeah, so much for a. Better. It's better on the river when they're all going the same direction, isn't it? No, <laughs> it's nice weather, and we've never been here before, so it's relatively exciting. Yep. This is, this is cows now. Yeah, there's a sailing boat on our port, so I'll start with a little speed boat doing some knots coming straight forwards. 
just had a change of course because we're heading towards this line of red buoys. Um, but well, now we're going to follow the yacht in front, and uh, there's a red and green um, port and starboard markers that obviously mark the end of the channel. And turn between those. So I'm just uh, steering with a little steering wheel now. This one doesn't get used. This is a steering wheel. Where you are, roughly. Yeah. It's about you here, I tell you. Just as well, right straight off our pull, start with side. Yeah, these cows are just coming up to now. Well, we've timed it right, exactly at high water. This footage here is speeded up, but in reality, it's nice and slow and easy, does it? This is our first visit to Cowles, and at first glance, it's wow, lots of boats everywhere. It's uh, one of the hubs of boating in the UK, but in reality, it's probably the worst place on the island. It's uh, there's factories, um, a lot of industrial buildings. There's background noise of uh, clanking and metal cutting. Yeah, it's uh, there are better places. This is our track shown on marine traffic of the short journey over. What do you think of it so far? I, I, it's, it seems quite nice. We need to go walk about. But we've got two weeks. It's probably warm. Apart from the ice cream, which is lovely and cold. Where are we, Ant? By the flight. Yeah, by These the flight. cows. Well, yeah. Well, that's the north of cows, actually, but uh, north of east of cows. Enters of the River Medina. It's a perfect. HMS Cavalier, built here in East Cowes in 1960. I don't know that. It says on that bit of a bit of writing there. I think you'll know. find it was actually built in 1943. Sorry, 43. It was yes, 43. Decommissioned and commissioned in, in 1944. Yeah, right. Okay, so I got my facts wrong. It was the last destroyer that it, that was in commission that was served in the Second World War. Uh, how's that? Needs a polish. Down the beach, though. Not the biggest beach in the world. That is a turbine blade. A wind farm. Where to, love? Big. We're going to Newport. Oh, okay. Nick. All right. If you look over there, see on the right on the right side of the that road, yeah. there's some chains. 
going up the, up the road. Uh, it says past 10 meters clear, it says. day look hat on again sunglasses on again it's uh it's warm enough it's not even midday and it's cooking so uh this is what it's like when you're having a good time it's checking out time for the river here we are it's uh it's warming up it's uh it says it's 21 degrees and sunny nah Sorry, sorry watch, you're, you're totally wrong. It's way warmer than that. Um, it's, it's getting to the point where the air cons have to go on soon, which is a shame, because when you do that, you have to shut all the doors to keep the cold air in. But uh, oh, what a lovely, lovely weather we've got here now. And for the next week, I believe as well. It's definitely sunny in cows. Well, it's time for a cycle ride up to Newport. Do a bit of exploring. Well, the boats opposite are actually uh, taking the ground. Here we are, this is uh, Newport Harbour. The visitors' moorings are what's there at the moment. Oh, just up here on the left. We're currently two hours before high water cows, so I think it'd be nice to come back here when it's low water to see how much water there is. The boats opposite, over here, they're taking the ground already. I've just come about uh, a quarter of a mile around the corner from where I was, looking north now up uh, the Medina, and uh, the moorings that we were up going past in the rib yesterday. It doesn't look very deep. Two hours before high water. Well, there's a closer look of that rusted paddle steamer we saw from the rib. That was a round trip of just over 13 miles. Again at Newport Harbour, and now this is low water. There you go. Yep, low water now. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot lower the pontoon, and there's some boats there taking the water. So it's taking the ground on bilge keels. Uh, yeah. Different. There we are, low water. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we're not far from Neeps, but uh, I think Neeps wouldn't have a problem getting the dinghy up here 
or the rib. Speed of the current here. We have it's uh, springs on the River Medina, and there's a good knot plus of current going past. There you go, MG3, executive with sat now, top of the range. Mm. Well, now I've managed to hire a car, we can uh, spend a few days driving around the island, seeing all the sights. Where are we now, Ange? Uh, Yarmouth. No, this is Freshwater Bay. Freshwater Bay, Yarmouth. We're going to Yarmouth. No, Yarmouth is the... Freshwater Bay, Yarmouth. This, this is the south side of the island. Yarmouth is on the north side. Hey, what do you think of my car, look? MG, yeah. Uh, mm. What do you think of it, Ange? Bag of nails. It's a bit gutless, isn't it? Aircon works, eh? This is a street, Winkle Street. You know, a common theme we're finding uh, here in the Isle of Wight, as soon as you get within a mile of anywhere, there'll be a lines just up here, all over the place. Okay, we've just uh, we've just parked up at uh, a National Trust car park at Benbridge. So there should be Benbridge Harbour around here somewhere. Some nice nature walks. Aha! I think we're here. I think we found ourselves a sandy beach edge. Bridge. That looks like a nice couple of bungalows over there, look. I was going to say, that looks like a very expensive part of the world to live, I think. Um, Hold that one. You want that one, do you? So this is looking across the entrance of Benbridge Harbour. Obviously at low water. Castle. Is it warm enough for you? Yeah, could be a bit warmer. <laughs> we have a plan. We're going to go clockwise up the wall and uh, around, around we go. Tell you what, could do with a bit more wind. It's hot. There's, there's a lot of history here. Uh, maybe not on such a warm day as this. Because we're cooking. Yeah. Okay. So. A lot of history. Very good. Yeah. Worth a visit. Here we are at the model village. And there's a model village. Of the model village? Yeah, of the model village. And there is the model village of the model village. What's that, Zoom in. That's the model village of the model village. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little pretty little church, but you know what? They're singing. They're singing, but it's actually a miniature church because Angie's a giant look. Yeah. I am a giant. So there in the distance, up there look, that church is this church and then there's a model of the church and then a model of the church and a model of the church. It's because we're going slowly. I 
the symbol there for the nappy change. Well, haven't you been here before? How long ago? 36 years ago. And has it changed? To be honest with you, I, I remember a model village, but I don't remember all the details. They could have expanded it in places, like the wind farm. You know, the wind yes. farm thing. I don't think that was here. Osborne House behind us. Yeah. I think we'll buy this one. Yeah, I don't know. I think the grounds are a bit big. We'll have to have a gardener. Well, when it said the Albert Barracks on the map, I, I got to admit, I did expect something a bit bigger than this model. It's not a real barracks and they're not real guns. They only have about three foot long. the ice house. It wasn't that bad, was it, Ange? No, not at all. really good actually. It went uh, very close in, you could almost step off the boat onto the needles. It was actually fantastic. Yeah. come and uh, alight or a short stay for a visitor and there's even a cycle hut there. Okay there's a lot of currents against us here but what I'm seeing is I'm seeing this dredging barge is pushing 
the chain ferry holding in position whilst it's loading its cars. I'm wondering whether the uh, I'm wondering whether the current is so strong that it pushes the, uh, the chain ferry down river. It certainly seems to be just holding him in position. I can't believe he's there all the time to do that. That's amazing. <laughs> and all the time he's doing that, <laughs> the guy on the barge, on, on the uh, dredger, is having a fish with his fishing rod. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at that current. Thanks. If you look at the sonar there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Those are the two chains. Oh, there are the two chains that are sticking up because of the tension. The map shows the track I took in the dinghy. It was a bit too rough to go any further. And lastly, over to Cows for a little walkabout on the floating bridge or chain ferry. Quite a time. Same guy fishing again, look. We're in cows, proper cows this time. Yeah. Just walk through the high street. You got the chase play. You wanted the chase play. Where else do you get the high street? Right next to the marina. Join us in the next part of this video where we'll be heading over to Portsmouth for a couple of weeks and looking at the Navy Historic Dockyard.